Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate smart payment checkout button of PayPal. So actually, I have already created one, but uh, some people has asked me the questions that uh, how we can make it dynamic. I mean, uh, how we can change the amount value. So I thought that I have to make a video so that uh, they could able to understand well. So let's start with the beginning. Uh, so first of all, I have to search here PayPal. Uh, here is search smart paypal button integration so once you will be searching here you will be getting something like this yeah smart payment button integration so you, you need to click over here and here you will be getting the example in which you can uh, do the payment using credit card as well as the paypal button all right so first of all uh, what you need to do is you need to add here the uh, client id so let me copy paste here my own client ID of the PayPal. So I have added the client ID. So currently uh, what can I do here is I can change this modify this value of the amount. So one thing I wanted to do here is like uh, there are people who are having some input boxes where they are passing some dynamic values or maybe from server side they are getting the values. So let me take an example of for example I have input type equals to number and value equals to whatever value you are adding here. Alright so uh, for example I am leaving it a uh, blank so you can see that here I am getting the input box so I will be entering the uh, value here so then after I am going to add here the ID equals to amount and then I am going to declare here a variable like a variable amount equals to document dot get element by id and here i need to mention the id which is amount dot value so this is the statement that you need to add here uh, and because of which you could able to get the value of the amount and then that amount variable you need to assign here all right so whatever would be the value inside the amount variable uh, that would be assigned to the value here so now if you will be now executing then what would what would happen here uh, the dynamic amount would be assigned to the PayPal uh, to the uh, payment so one more thing I wanted to hear uh, show here is like uh, I have an alert message which is uh, already written here like transaction completed by specific name but I am also going to write here console dot log and here is details well uh, D E T A I L S details here is the variable details so i am writing here why because uh, in this way i could identify that uh, my payment has been successful or not so i could able to see the status uh, of the payment as well so let's see so currently everything is done now i need to add the value here so for example i am writing here 13 dollars so you need to mention here uh, by default it would be dollar if you are interested to change the currency you can also do in this uh, javascript line at the end right so let's do the payment so you need to click on debit or credit card so i am getting the error why because i am not able to write here and uh, fetch the values so currently i am going to add the value static value here later i will be showing you uh, that how you can add into uh, the file actually i will be copying this code into my uh, local file but for now i am leaving it uh, a fixed value here all right so i am not going to fetch from here so let's see yeah so i got the form in which i need to fill some details so i am going to add some test card details i need to add some test 
uh, expiry date then i have to add security code which is also test and i am going to uh, choose a country here singapore for example then after i need to mention my name for example i am writing here abdul and then i am adding some address and then i need to add the postal code i am writing here a test postal code then i need to add a mobile number so actually i have here the godaddy support team uh, uh, support numbers i am going to copy from here so you need to actually take the test number then i am adding here a test uh, email id so again actually all right so everything is filled so now i need to click on i confirm that i am of legal age and agree to the paypal uh, privacy statements i am also going to open the developer console here so that i could identify the message so let me click on pay now i am also going to clear this so within a very short time you will be getting the output yeah so you can see the message like transaction completed by abdul so this message we got and we also got here the result uh, in the result we got the message like everything in detail here is explained for example you can see the purchase unit status is complete update time as well and if you will see in the pair you can see the name address and in the purchase unit you will be getting the amount as well in the zero index you can see that amount value is 13 dollars uh, so the currency code is us dollar email address is this one and merchant id and every detail you will be finding over here so you can say that uh, the paypal uh, payment has been successful now so two type of accounts here business account as well as the personal account if you don't know how to create uh, those sandbox accounts so please watch the video which i will be sharing you in the description link below in the description so you need to watch that video actually so here we we would have the business account yeah finally we end up with the result you can see that here from my business account 13 dollars has been uh, uh, we have got actually from uh, the personal account all right so we can say that the payment has been successful now so we end up with the successful payment so let me tell you now that what you will be doing with this code so for example i have this code and i am going to copy this code from here and i am going to create a new file here so for example new click on new then i have the for example test dot sorry you need to add here test dot html all right so the file extension must be html then i am going to paste it over here and save it and then i am going to run this code on to my browser so let's see yeah we got this so we have added the fixed value here we wanted to make it dynamic so let me click on inspect and we have on the developer console so let me make it dynamic so how i will be doing it is uh, i'm going to remove this value and going to write here on change event and going to call a function fun all right so i'm going to define that function fun and inside of it i will be writing this amount over here and i'm also going to declare the amount variable outside variable amount equals to zero so by default it would be zero so whatever amount value would be uh, inside the input box that would be assigned to the amount so now if you will be refreshing this and adding something over here for example 34 and clicking on debit or credit card then it will be working fine 
all right so you could get the form but we are not interested to do this we are interested to uh, use some uh, input box i mean uh, select to select some options so how i will be doing that so i am writing here input type radio and then i have the name so name is amount then i have some value so value is for example 22 and then i am going to add on change and there you will be adding a function all right so let me copy this and i am gonna paste it over here and i am only going to change the value 23 for example and let me add the label so amount dollar 22 and then the same thing would be over here amount 23 all right so how i will be getting the values over here i am going to uh, rename this amount variable to total and i am going to assign this element actually let me remove this again and writing here amount equals to variable amount equals to document dot get element by name right so what's the name the name is amount all right so this amount very uh, this amount element would be inside of this one but you know that we have two input boxes uh, two radio uh, buttons so because of which we will be getting an array inside the amount all right so we need to iterate the array using for each loop so let's use for each loop so we will be having element then we have fat fat arrow and let me console it over here so element would be over here right so let's see on the output screen what would be happening over here so i am going to click over here you can see that i am getting both these uh, radio buttons values so what i need to do is i need to check the selected one and then assign the value into my total variable so what i will be doing here is if element dot so let me show you the example first so for example i am writing here element dot value then you will be getting something different so what's that both the values you will be getting 22 and 23 but i am interested to use only single one so if element dot checked then i will be assigning into total variable element dot value all right so in this way i will be getting only a single value inside the total and now i am going to update this amount variable to total so let's see on the output screen he here i am going to refresh this and going to select 23 now and going to click on debit or credit card so let's see so we have the form here so let me fill the form So finally our transaction has been completed you can see that transaction completed by Hakim and here we go okay and you can see that on the result we have uh, got some values like uh, purchase units you can see over here we have the amount like 23 US dollars and email address and all the things are over here you can see step by step here is the status which is completed so i think you got the basic understanding that how we uh, made it successful 
and if you wanted to see over here I'm gonna refresh this one maybe uh, it will update a little late but still we will be getting the uh, updated value onto our business account or maybe on the personal account so if you haven't uh, created these accounts up till now I will be adding the link into my description so you should uh, follow the steps uh, to uh, create those so you can see that we have got 23 US dollars so that means uh, payment from Malik Hakim so in this uh, uh, which means that we uh, the payment has been successful now so if you are still facing any issue then please uh, feel free to contact me I will definitely help you out but still uh, you need to follow all the steps which I did so far so if you have multiple options you can uh, manage accordingly so we just like we did in the video so we tried to manage the JavaScript code only there is nothing difficult at all alright so thank you so much see you in the next video Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free. So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.